What did you end up naming your tortoise? Frankie, after Frankie Valli, one of my favourite singers. Aw, oh, that's a cute name, lol. Have you ever tried doing the solo diddly before? <laughs> oh, did you really need to say that? <laughs> you were talking about somebody's tortoise, for God's sake. Like, oh, that's such a nice name for your tortoise. Anyway, I don't really want to talk about your tortoise. Yeah, a lot. Lovely and reasonable conversation. I'm sure we're gonna read a whole bunch of them today. Welcome back guys, hope you're having a beautiful day today and I hope you're ready for some creepy private messages. It's not gonna be very nice, I already know it. You know me, I try and stay optimistic in these videos, but today I just sorta know that it's not gonna be very wholesome. If anything, it'll probably be horrifying. Like we haven't even started and I've already got wholesome memes open. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how how many of them we need. Wow, somebody literally says, are you a fan of backdoor shenanigans? What music do they make? <laughs> That's such a good response to that. I haven't heard of that band before. <laughs> I'll have to look them up. Actually, no, <laughs> I'm not going to look them up, but I'll take your word for it. I'm sure they're great. A letter received in my internal apartment mailbox, i.e. this person lives in my building and no my apartment number. Oh my god, no. Hi, not sure if you'd be down for this, but would love to blank you off. Would be very discreet as a guy on guy meet. If you do want to put a piece of paper outside your door. Yeah, I really hope you talk to... Who would you talk to? Your landlord? Oh, that's actually terrifying. Yeah, um, I hope you're safe and definitely tell who you can about this. Yo, are you a guy or a girl? I don't want to be offensive. I just want to know. A girl? Oh, okay. I just saw the pronoun stuff and I was wondering. Oh, okay, lol. Lol, send nudes, lol. Oh, yeah, smooth. <laughs> what a gentleman. So, hi, are you a girl? Oh, yeah, okay. Send me nudes. You know, because we've had such a great conversation. <laughs> I just have found out like barely anything about you. They don't even know each other, do they? Hey, I saw that you're a seller. How much for five custom nude pics and a five minute video of you dressed as a minion? <laughs> no way. They want a video of you dressed as a minion. You know, obviously not a very wholesome video, but still dressed as a minion. Is this one creepy? Like it's a weird, you know, they're just sort of into something. Well, they're into minions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Two kissy faces. Can I see your boobs, please? Can I see all of your banking information? Yeah, very good point. Hmm, well, you know what? Show me them credit cards, homie. <laughs> and the numbers on the back. You're beautiful. Wanna be spoiled? I guess not. Wanna be spoiled? Spoiled how? Well, first, say hi daddy. Not gonna happen until you explain. Okay, so my offer is a thousand dollars a week starting tonight. Just to talk and no nudes at all. I do not prepay. I'll go higher if you're good. My max is a five thousand. I use Cash App, Venmo and PayPal. Yeah, so they're definitely a scammer. Oh yeah, random person. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm sure there are a whole bunch of people that would do this. You know, like, don't people donate, like, 15 grand to Pokimane and stuff? I'm sure people do this all the time, but yeah, this one is definitely a scam. Hey, hottie, a little outside the box here, but I'd love to pay you lots of money to see your dog lick your body. If it's not your thing, I do apologize. Just a spontaneous message. If it's not your thing, whose a thing is this? <laughs> wow, home of the heretic where Homer gets Santa's little helper to lick his chest. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Girl, are you a cult? Because I want to burn you at the stake. What? <laughs> what do you mean? This guy knows a lot of things, but cult behavior, stake prep, and pickup lines are not one of them. <laughs> yeah, to say I'm confused is an understatement. You've been rubbing it, haven't you, babe? <laughs> yeah, let's read a wholesome meme. <laughs> when me and the boys get online to play, but instead we just end up talking about our day. <laughs> Ooh, sounds delish. Let me just throw some jeans on. Ooh, sounds delish. Let me just toss some jeans on and I... So cute. We read one wholesome Simpsons meme and I already feel better. Now back to the creepy messages. Hey, random question. Does it hurt women to get hit in the groin even though they don't have balls? Have you ever been hit there? Yeah, like this one isn't that creepy, but why are you just messaging a random person asking this? You know, like it's probably gonna lead somewhere else, surely. If they were just genuinely curious, wouldn't they just Google it? Or are they somehow into the thought of people getting hit in the groin? You know, like, where is this gonna lead? <laughs> and also, what made them think of this in the first place? The amount of posts on this subreddit that I just can't read. <laughs> it takes like three days to find posts that just aren't that terrifying. So yeah, getting these videos ready is always scary. Talk to me dirty now, or I'll destroy you. Yeah, um, I get the feeling we're not going to be reading much more today, guys. Why do you say that to somebody? <laughs> That's what I have to say to everything on this subreddit. Why do you feel like you need to say this to somebody? <laughs> Hi, I like your tang. Aw, oh, thank you. Want to see my meat stick? Um, no. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Moving on, thank you very much. Hey, yeah. Wanna fart for me? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the best one we've had today. I feel like it's good to leave it on a post that isn't too scary. I like ones like this that are just funny and strange. I don't like the ones that are just straight up horrifying. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and now let's enjoy something a little bit more wholesome. The Cookie Monster on Twitter. Me no cry because Cookie is finished. Me smile because Cookie happened. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely right, Cookie Monster. Oh my god, that has 285,000 likes. But yeah, Cookie Monster, that's beautiful and it has a beautiful message. I I'm not sad because it's over. I'm happy because it happened. Me, every time I finish a video. I'm not sad because it's finished. I'm happy because it happened. I just want to be alone. Okay, I'll be alone with you. <laughs> and starts purring. Yeah, I don't know who came up with cats, but they're so damn beautiful. We don't deserve them. My human carries heavy bags. Let me help. I am the... The goodest boy. <laughs> Your human has a cross as a face. <laughs> I hope they're okay. Don't worry about them carrying bags. Worry about them not running into things. But yeah, you're an absolute angel. <laughs> sure, compliments on your appearance are cool. But when somebody compliments you as a person, your taste in music, your personality, your humor, your heart, now that slaps. Yeah, 100 percent most definitely does slap. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't agree more. Okay, that was a beautiful video. I hope you enjoyed today, guys. The comment of the day today once again goes to Tale of a Fox. Watching Vincey read these subreddits with face cam is like watching Ralph Wiggum's heartbreak after Lisa chewed him out live on Krusty's show on a repeat. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now...
It's a painful XD. Wait, is that the third Simpsons clip in this video? That makes me so happy. But yeah, you can constantly see the pain in my face. <laughs> I feel like it genuinely adds a lot to these videos. And yeah, I can't see your face, obviously. But I'm assuming you're probably pulling the same faces. You know, like just the look of pure terror. As always, have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!